Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we're going to be making Antonio Carluccio's Pappardelle, I'm not going to say that correctly, Pappardelle with meat sauce uh, from Antonio's cookbook, 100 Pasta Recipes. So let's get started. So we're going to start by heating some oil. Extra virgin olive oil. And go ahead and add that to our skillet, our pan. And there's our olive oil. We're going to heat that up. Okay, and then to that, we are going to add one small onion that has been finely chopped. Yeah, that right here. Onion out of there. As well as one celery stick, finely chopped. We'll add that. And one carrot that has been finely chopped. And there is our carrot. And that's going to form the base of our meat sauce. Now, we did chop the vegetables um, fairly small. Because this is not a sauce that's going to be cooking for a few hours. This is a quick sauce. So we're just going to go ahead and fry that until everything is softened. It already has a nice aroma to it. Where it smells very, very good. There was a time in the not so distant past when we weren't allowed to cook with onions because I hated them. <laughs> I've changed. He's come around. Okay, our next step, it looks like our, our carrots, onions, and, and celery are cooked nicely. Next uh, step is we're going to add seven ounces each of lean beef and ground pork. Uh, I think the, the beef was 85.15, I think. Yeah. Uh, and then the ground pork, we're going to go ahead and add that and we're going to um, cook that until it's brown. Um, Antonio, in the intro to this recipe, says that this pasta is eat, eaten in Italy whenever a roast is made with a meat sediment from the roasting tin forming the basis of the sauce. So this is basically the shorter version of that recipe. Okay, so the next step is the fun part. We're going to go ahead and add some wine to our sauce, to our meat sauce. Uh, it's uh, 5 fluid ounces or 150 milliliters. And um, that is a dry red wine. So we'll kick it, cook this for a couple of minutes until it evaporates. Okay, so the next step, we're going to add our tomato paste. I believe it's 3 tablespoons of tomato paste. And we've diluted it with 2 tablespoons of water. So we're going to go ahead and add that to our meat sauce. Alrighty. Mix that in a little bit. And then we're going to add... ...150 <laughs> milliliters or 5 fluid ounces of beef stock. Okay, so we're going to add our beef stock now. Mmm. And if this is going to end up tasting as good as it smells, we're going to be in business because, my goodness, this really smells good. Okay, so we're just going to mix that together, and then we're going to add our two bay leaves over there. Mm-hmm. All righty, so we're going to cook it for 10 minutes. Yeah, so we're just going to simmer that with the lid on so that all our liquid doesn't evaporate. We'll do that for about 10 minutes. Okay, we've been cooking this for just about 12 minutes, letting it simmer. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go ahead and take the, the bay leaves. We're taking out the bay leaves, okay. um, and then we're just going to taste and see whether it needs any additional salt, but we're definitely going to be adding a little black pepper. Give it just a little bit of your salt and pepper to taste. We're going to add a little pepper for sure. Um, we'll see how, you know, what we think here. I'm going to add just a little salt. Okay. Mm. A little is relative, I guess. But. Okay, and our pasta has just um, finished cooking there as well, so we're going to go ahead and drain that. And then um, once we've seasoned our beef, we're going to mix that in with the pasta and then add a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and drain our pasta. And then we're ready to do the taste test. Mm, mamma mia! Mm -hmm. Okay, so here is our finished product, and all that's left to do is give it a taste test. Okay, let's see what we think. Holy moly. Mm. <laughs> that is delicious. This is absolutely fantastic. Antonio, you really blew it out of the water with this one. 
Yeah. Oh my goodness, that sauce. Mm. This is the perfect sauce for a cold winter's day and we have a winter storm rolling in. And I usually really enjoy a good meat sauce that simmers for hours. But you mm. know, the flavors of, of this, you can't even tell that this came together in what, like 20, 30 minutes? Yeah, very, very quickly. This is mm. really great. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to put it into words because it just... Mm. It is really tasty. You so, know, Mm -hmm. you, can, you can taste a little bit of the wine in there. Mm. Mm. This is fantastic. Mm. Highly recommend. Absolutely. Try this at home. If you're looking for a delicious meat sauce that you can make in under 30 minutes, this is the recipe for you. Mm. I'm sorry I'm too busy eating. <laughs> so, uh, we're saying goodbye until next time. Mm. Try this at home. Believe me, try this at home. Enjoy. Wow, that is good.